Hello? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Yolanda. How are you? Uh, well, I am fine, but uh, here is raining. Oh, here is raining, but not so hard. Yes, very hard. But in, in, in your house, yes, it's very yeah. hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's an electrical uh, storm. Oh. It's with a lot of, I don't know, rayos? Uh, how do you say rayos? No. Uh-huh. Lightning. Lightning. I remember Lightning McQueen, the, the movie, the car. Ah, yes, yes, uh -huh. El Rayo. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes, Lightning McQueen, it says. Uh. Okay, good. So how was your day? Uh, it was fine, teacher. I have a lot of job, uh, work, uh, but it's good. Yeah, me too. This week we're making tests in my school, so I'm taking a lot of tests, you know, because I have eight sections in you work in at the school yeah in a public school in the morning ah, okay. yeah. and you you work in a in a colegio in a school no mm, well i have two jobs teacher uh -huh. one of them uh, is with a international cooperation uh -huh. and the other is with a, a school uh, but a private school i am an accountant ah uh, oh so you're good with numbers too uh, yes, but uh, with the international cooperation, I am a task manager. Okay, nice. Congratulations. And now, yes. uh, there, your employees will be proud of you because it says, my boss speak English, you know? Uh, well... Uh, they don't know you speak English. No, they uh, all, uh, always he uh, talk in... Uh, Spanish. Is, is they, speak in Spanish, but we need to uh, make a report in English. Uh, then you say, Yolanda is going to make it because she speaks English. <laughs> uh, yes, I, 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 I think I write a, a no bad. Oh, nice. I, I don't write bad, but uh, I, uh, my, I, I speak a, um, very, I don't know, slow. No, no, Yolanda, I will tell you something. Listen, I, I'm not a native, you know, person, right? As you can see. But uh, in time, the, the most time you dedicate to speak, for example, right? Like in this class, for example, uh, yes. you're going to improve your English. But it's, it's not that you know and, and magically you, you speak very well. No, 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 it's not that. It's just with the practice, right? So don't worry yes. about that. But your English okay. is good. Your English is I, good. I practice. I practice to write uh, uh, because I I need to write a lot of reports. Mm -hmm. But uh, I I cannot uh, speak uh, fluently. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Flu fluently. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I'm telling you this. Don't worry because the idea is that uh, well that you need to practice. You know. And if you have a family member or so a friend who, who can speak English, so you can practice. Don't be a... My husband. <laughs> oh, really? Congratulations. That's nice. Okay, very good. So here we have Sophia with us, right? Hi, Sophia. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi. It's a pleasure to see you, Sophia. Thank you, teacher. How was your day? Um... Go. Good. Completely. Normal. A normal day. <laughs> <laughs> normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, so, it, it, is it raining? Life. Is it raining in your house? It's Sophia? not raining. No. No. Oh, in a Wachapan, right? No. In a Wachapan, no, not, not yet. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Nice. Okay. Welcome to the class. And then we have. Dagoberto. Hi, Dagoberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure to have you in, in the class again. Oh, uh, how are you? It's fine. fine. Thank you. Your place? My day was very good. And your day, Dagoberto, how was your day today? Uh, it's fine, too. Uh, puedo okay. decirlo así. Puedo decirlo. It's, it's, fine. Yes, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Very good. 
So now, uh, today we're going to have this class just uh, to focus on the final test. I suppose some of you finished the test, right? But some of you maybe not. So uh, today they are going to close the platform, right? At night, midnight, so they close it. But you still have time to make some exercises and we're going to do it together, right? The idea is uh, to study and to see how to develop these exercises. Yesterday, we had some problem with some exercises, but I tried to give you ideas, right, in the WhatsApp group. And I was telling, uh, maybe I made a mistake when I say, because of the platform. No, no, it's, it's not because of the platform. It's because sometimes in the platform, they ask for a comma, for a period, or a capital letter, right? Sometimes you say, ah, se me olvidó la, la mayúscula. No le puse punto. Se me olvidó la for a period, teacher. Uh -huh, Sometimes for a period, you say, oh, it's, it's not good, but, but no. I mean, it, it's because this is electronics, an electronic situation that you have to answer, you know, exactly, right? No, but don't worry about it. The, the idea is to practice, right? The idea is that you speak English. Today, if we, after the test, if we have time, we're going to speak a lot. We're going to make a practice speaking, right? You will like it. So let's start right now. Uh, I'm going to share the platform with you. And I'm going to ask you something. I will play the audio, but if you have problem with the audio, I have uh, another file to, to play if you don't listen very well, right? But, but in my, I suppose the audio is very good in the platform. So, but even though you tell me, teacher cannot listen. So don't, I will help you, don't worry. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we have here, uh, five part, right? A, B, C, D, right? And the first part is a listen, right? In the listening, you're going to listen to a, a conversation, right? And then you are going to answer this uh, question. You just check the correct answer here. We have three options. And here, the first one says, Manuel called Karen and wants to what? To bring CDs to her party, to go to the theater with her, or to borrow her a CD player. So you just check the correct answer, right? Then uh, we go to number two. It's a second uh, conversation, right? Jeff asked the men to leave this message to, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this, Miki, I guess. Okay. And then three options again, right? Then conversation three says, while the couple was walking to the mailbox, a thief stopped them, right? A thief took their money or they called the police. Three options, right? At the ditch, number four, Yvonne learned to be more careful about lo locking her car doors, ask her mom to lock the glove co compartment, uh, forget, forgot, sorry, her lunch and wallet in the trunk of the car. Three options here, right? Before to start, I don't know if you have any question about vocabulary. No? Hola. Questions about vocabulary? No, okay. Good. Uh, yes? Teacher. Tell me, tell me. Hey, uh, Francisco, how are you? <laughs> I am fine, teacher. We're making uh, the test together, right? I have a question. Tell me, tell me, Francisco. Uh, trunk, what's the meaning of trunk? Okay, uh, sorry, Francisco. Number one, two, or three? Wait, question one, two, three, or four, Francisco? I think... Number, number, number one. Number one, okay, good. Number four, number four. Number four. Oh, number four. Yes. What is the question again? Repeat the question. Trunk. Forgot. 
Ah, forgot. Wallet in the trunk. Tiene que comparar los dos. Ah, forgot. Mejor esperes, hermana. The wallet in the trunk. Okay. Of the car. Ah. Uh, the trunk is the, the, the back part of the car, Francisco. The trunk is the part, the back part of the car where you put your wallets, you know? The back in the car. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, and forgot is the past tense of forget, olvidar. You know? Okay, okay, thank you. The wallet, forgot the wallet in the trunk. Of the car, right? Chivo wallet. <laughs> Chivo. <laughs> no, this is it's uh well my personal wallet, but no Chivo wallet. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, good. Any other question? <laughs> no, I don't have the Chivo. I don't know. I, I don't have time to, but I think it's okay, right? <laughs> so no more questions. Now let's go to the audio, please. I remember. If you don't understand very well the, the audio, I can help you, right? Okay. Um, and then, oops. Give me a second. I have the audio here in the platform. Uh, okay. Okay, here. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answer. Do you listen very well? The yes. audio is okay? Yes, yes it's, it's okay. okay. Excellent, excellent. Continue, continue. One. Hello? Hello, Karen. This is Manuel from downstairs. Oh, hi, Manuel. What's up? Well, I'm having a party tomorrow night, and I'd like you to come. Oh, I'd love to, but I already have theater tickets. Uh, would it be okay, then, if I borrowed your CD player for the party? Mine's broken. You'll be careful with it? It's new, you know. Sure. Don't worry. I'll take special care of it. <gasps> okay. I'll bring it down tomorrow morning. Great. Thanks, Karen. Bye. Two. Hello? Hello? Is this Mikio? This is Jeff. Sorry, Mikio isn't here right now. Could you call back later tonight, say, after 7? Well, uh, do you mind giving him a message? Not at all. It's Jeff. Jeff Jackson. We're going to play basketball tomorrow afternoon. Could you ask Makio what time I should pick him up? No problem. I'll tell him to call you tonight. Three. Hey, Brian, did you hear? This couple was walking to the mailbox on the corner when a thief stopped them. You're kidding. No, it was terrible. They didn't have any money, so the thief was going to make them go to a cash machine. But then a police car drove by. What happened? Did he get arrested? They said the robber got scared when he saw the police, and he ran down the street and around the corner. So he escaped? Unfortunately, he did. Four. Well, how was the beach today, Yvonne? Great. There was just one little problem. Oh, what was that? Well, after I parked the car, we got our lunch out of the trunk and carried everything down to the beach. And about an hour later, I realized that I had forgotten to lock the car. Oh, no. Was anything stolen? Well, I had taken the keys with me, but I had locked my wallet in the glove compartment like I usually do whenever I go swimming. Wow, you've learned a good lesson, haven't you? Uh-huh. Remember to lock the car. Remember to lock the car, right? Okay. Um, let me see. I want to come back to the platform. 
give me a second class here, right? Okay. And yes, okay, good. Now, I, um, okay, so we have the question here, right? Give me a second, sorry, I, I need to, to expand it. The, yeah, it's ready. Okay, good. I'm learning with you, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, good. So then we have here the, the, the audio, right? And we have the three questions. Manuel called Karen and wants to bring CDs to her party, go to the theater with her and borrow her CD player, right? So that was conversation one. Conversation two, Jeff asked the man to leave this message to Mikio. It's a Japanese name, right? In Spanish it sounds funny, but <laughs> this is Japanese, right? Okay, and number three, while the couple was walking to the mailbox, and number four, at the beach, Yvonne, Good. So do you have any question? Do you want to listen again or, or want me to explain the audios? Here, if you want, I can show you for a while the, the audio script, right? Let me see. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, let me see here. Um, I will show you something. Line here, right? So this is the audio script for the first, right? Rhonda and John talking. Number two, a man and Tony talking. Okay, then we have number three. Andrew and a woman talking. I did it. You did it. Good. And number four, right? Mom and Katie talking. All the car problem, right? Good. So now. Let's come back. Let me see. Okie dokie, right? Let's come back to the platform again. Uh, here. Here, right? Good. Do you want to listen again? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, for me, I, I did it too. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Right. Okay, let's go to number two. So letter B, I mean. Request. Okay, this is the first part we were working in this uh, pre avanzado modulo uno, right? Uh, the use of requests when you need a favor, right? And one of the, the questions you can ask is could I? Uh, can I say, for example, could I, could I borrow your, 
your your car <laughs> could i borrow your your house <laughs> could i borrow your dog well some so, uh, some people say could i borrow one dollar <laughs> sometime right and you you think in your mind this dollar will never return again you say right Yes or Buy no? Or twenty dollars. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I this have experience the, with like with the hair. <laughs> uh, we, this is the best way to lose friends. <laughs> to lose right. friends, to yeah. lose money. <laughs> yeah. To lose. Uh, how do you say cargador for cell charger? Phone? Charger. Okay, charger for cell phone like that. Yes. Yeah, so, can I borrow your charger? Yeah, yes, yes. And then you never, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I heard sometimes that the, the biggest lie in El Salvador is eh, prestame una cora, te la pago mañana. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest lie, right? But you can say, eh, could I borrow a quarter? Uh, you know? So this is the kind of question. Or oh, if it is more important, would it be okay if I use your, your car, for example? Oh, and no. <laughs> could be, for example, I was wondering, I was wondering if I, if you'd, if you'd mind um, lending me your, your computer, for example, right? Okay. Or oh, your, your book. Yeah. That book is not the big deal, right? Uh, but remember that it's not the same when I say could I, because could I could be one one dollar, but if you say uh, your car is more softer that you say, would it be okay, right? Oh, I was wondering if you would mind lending me Teacher. your your I don't know your computer, <laughs> right? Uh huh, Yolanda. I don't agree with you about books because uh, oh. if you uh, I don't know uh, lend a book you maybe uh, lost your book and your, your friend <laughs> yes i don't agree but with that <laughs> i will tell you my personal experience uh, <laughs> uh, i love to read right i i have read la iliada 100 years of solitude El Azario de Torme, ooh, a lot of books right so when i give the book to someone i say if the person maybe is not going to return the book right but if the person reads the book i say ah it's okay and then i ask for other book you know <laughs> you say like eh, yo le di uno ahora que me de otro <laughs> you know so that's my my philosophy of course but yeah you when you borrow something you you expect maybe it's not going to come back a book money <laughs> computer <laughs> Okay, so you have to be careful, right? To when you yes. borrow your your things, is okay. Very good, thank you, Yolanda. So then, in you, my you, job, the pencil. Yeah, the pencil or the pen. The pens of the. Okay, yeah. check it, check it. Watch because it's the last time. <laughs> okay. Someone yeah. gave me an advice. Uh huh. Uh, Someone you gave never, you. never. Uh, okay, gave you an advice. Uh, Three things you never, uh, I don't lend uh -huh. is your car. Or your horse. <laughs> no, your car, your car. books, and your husband. Oh. <laughs> when, I, when I went to Colombia, uh -huh. I was in the similar, <laughs> but is your woman. <laughs> yeah. So never do that, right? At, at least you live in Arabia, right? <laughs> Yolanda, if you live in Arabia, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you can, yeah, exactly. <laughs> one, the first one, the second one, the third, the fourth. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> the first. Good class, what do you so. want? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, so I don't know if you have problems to, to answer this letter B. I gave you some example, right? I gave you some example, but... And remember I said, right, sometimes... Uh, well, in these answers, I guess it's not necessary the period. Punto final, right? It's not necessary in this exercise. Okay? Good. So, 
Now let's go to letter C. Remember, if you have questions, tell me. Eh? The purpose of this practice is that you have no questions. You understand everything and you can make the, the test like this, right? Okay. Letter C says, check the correct phrase to complete each request. Again, we're working with requests. Request it when you need a favor, when you ask for something, right? Okay. Could we return, could we return the teacher at the... At the uh, letter B. Letter, uh -huh, the letter B. Uh -huh. Number? Uh, I don't know why, but I had problem with that. Number one, two, or three, or the with, three of them? Three of them. With three all. of them. Uh -huh. Okay, I will give you an example, Mauricio. Of okay. course, I'm not giving you the, the I'm not giving you the answers, uh -huh. but I will give you an example. You you want your friend to lend you her her car uh -huh. for tomorrow, right? Yeah. You want your friend to lend you her car for tomorrow, and then the the request is, could I borrow? Remember, the opposite of lend is borrow. Uh -huh. I borrow, the other person lend to me. Understand? Ah, okay. Good. So then I say, could I, could I uh, borrow your car for tomorrow? Could I borrow your car for tomorrow? Okay. Okay. Of course, uh, the questions have other information, laptop, weekend, etc. So you yeah. make the transformation. Good. Number two, Mauricio, number two. Your classmate has a cell phone. You want to use the cell phone, right? Yeah. Would be, and then the, the request is, would it be okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's change it. Okay. Uh, use the cell phone. book. Yolanda, sorry, I but can, I need to use if this I can use, If I can use your cell phone. Uh-huh. If I, no, if I yes. if I used in past tense, right? Use uh -huh. ED. Use uh -huh. if I use, if I use your, your cell phone. Your book. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say the don't say the answer, Maurice. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. change the information. Let's change the information, please. Okay. Okay, we have to change the information. Uh -huh, but but you know, okay. this is an example, right? If I use okay. your book. Would it be okay if I use your book? Huh? But remember, you have to say ed, ed, used. Okay. If I used, right? It will be, it will be okay if I used uh -huh, yes. your book. Because okay. you're using if here. After uh -huh. if, you have to use a past tense form, right? A past tense in number two. Okay? Okay. Good. Number but three. But it's necessary to put. And I'm sorry, but it's necessary yes. to put the the sign, the interrogation sign, or the or the period. No, no, it's not necessary. No. No, no, because the the sign is already there. Look, Mauricio, is here. Yeah. It's uh -huh. not necessary. You repeat. It's not necessary. Okay. Good. Okay. That's why I'm telling you yesterday. I mean, it's not the platform, but it's the. I don't know. It's like a. A procedure, you know, procedimiento. We have to yeah. follow the commas, the, the period, etc. Et mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Number three, you want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he's finished reading it, right? Uh -huh. And I say, in this case, we're going to change for a magazine, right? A magazine. Okay. I was wondering if you mind. Lending, lending, why lending? Because the other person is making the action. The okay. owner of the magazine is other person, not you. So you say, would you mind? I was, sorry, uh, uh, I was wondering if you'd mind if you lending mind. me, lending me. Lending me, yes. Yeah. Lending me your magazine. newspaper. Because um, you don't say, borrow me, Bor no, no, no. Because you borrow. I borrow, you know, it's like in Spanish, yo pido prestado, right? And the other person lend to me, me da prestado, you know, lend, okay? So you have to, don't say borrowing, no, lending, lending me your book, lending me your, 
your pencil, lending me your, your computer, right? So after mine, you always use uh, gerund, I-N-G, uh, lending me, giving me, passing me, et cetera, et cetera, right? After mine, me it's a, it's a the, rule that the you- The magazine or your magazine? Uh huh. Lending me your magazine, for example, right? Uh -huh. It's just an example, Maurice. Yeah. It's not the answer, but this. Yeah. Is an example, right? Okay, Mauricio. I'm okay right now. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, it's okay. 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 No problem. Okay, let's go to letter C, right? Remember, you can make all the questions. The purpose of this class is that you make all the questions you want, right? This is the purpose of Javier Gomez, the teacher, for you answer all your questions, right? But remember, the, the, the answers are going to be made by you. Okay. Could you tell Matt that Akiko can come to class tomorrow? Or can you tell Matt, does Akiko come? Okay. Here, what you have to check is the structure, right? Tell that or tell does. Mm-hmm. So you just, I guess this is easy because you have two options, only 50%, right? No complication. And then could you ask David if he wants, uh, the expression whether or not is the same if, is the same. So in this case, in option number two, you can say if he wants the same, whether or not is the same if, right? So study together tonight, so you have to check one of the answers, right? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. About weather. Uh, you can use only weather, or you can use weather with or not. You can use uh, the tree. Together. You can use the tree. I will tell you, the tree, number one. Mm -hmm. can, can you, uh, I'm not telling you this is the answer, of course, but. Can you ask David whether or not he wants to study together tonight? Mm -hmm. Number one. Whether Number two. Can you ask okay. David whether he wants to study together tonight? Number three. Can you ask David if he wants to study together tonight? So okay. in this case, you can use the three. Whether or not. Whether or if. The three options are good. Understand? Hello? Yes, teacher. I yes, understand. yes. Okay, good. Good. Any other question? No, here. Here it's no, no. okay. Okay. Uh, sorry to tell you, but for me, my personal uh, opinion, right, is that this part is easy. For me, yeah. I don't know. Can you tell Harriet, don't be late for class on Monday? Not to be late for class on Monday. We Remember, we were talking about this, right? Have to change, in this case, it's, it's an imperative, right? Imperative. Do we use the auxiliary or not? Uh, that is the question. Good. Now, letter C, right now, letter D. Complete the story. Complete the paragraph, use the simple past or, and the past continuous or the past perfect, right? Uh, remember that I gave you one example that uh, the teacher was eating, right? When someone turned off the lights, right? And also the use of the past perfect, right? When you describe, one event that happened before another event in the past, right? So this was the topic, if you remember, right? So here, for example, in number one, you are going to answer two questions, number one, right? So notice the verb get. Here, you can say, for example, uh, the bride what and groom the are, are getting, option one, the bride and the groom got, right? Or the bride and the groom have gotten into a terrible argument, right? 
So you have, you have three options. The simple pass, got, the pass continues, are, are getting, no, no, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, no, it's, it's the past continuous, is where? Sorry, sorry, where? Because we're talking about the past, not the present, right? Where getting? Getting. Uh-huh, yes, we're getting, excuse me. And no, no, all the past perfect had gotten, right? Again, got, were getting, or had gotten the three options right into a terrible argument uh, here uh, in the verb don't copy period it's not necessary the period right for example let's say one example right i say got for example this but is not the answer it's just i'm giving the example right so uh, if you say copy the period sure. it's not necessary it's not necessary the period right the other one could be where getting or number three have gotten right gotten. have gotten gotten yes e. no 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 T -T -E. gotten right e e n right uh huh yes okay gotten good but it's not necessary the period because it's in the middle of the sentence, no? Uh, I will tell you something. Uh -huh. Okay, you can use period or not. You have the two options according to the platform, right? For me, my personal recommendation, don't complicate, don't put the period, right? But the, the platform, the platform, sorry, it's going to say, okay, you put the period. Okay, no problem. The two options are correct, right? Okay, let's continue. The bride's father had just moved aside when the groom, again, step, right? Here, uh, step, it's, it's a verb, right? Uh, so the pass, simple pass of step is PP, ED, right? Step. Now stepped with the pronunciation step. t, 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 right? T, t, step. This is the simple pass. Step. Or uh, was because it's the the bride father. No, the room. Sorry, the room was stepping right again. P P I N G right or have stepped, right? These are the three options. And again, if you want to use the period, use the period. If you don't want to use the period, don't use it, right? These are the three options, right? Okay, number two, while I, while I, remember why means mientras, right? I was, playing or oh, while I played or oh, while I had played, right? So what is the correct option? And the second, the last part, sorry, here is three options, right? Three options. Not put in simple pass, I didn't. Remember the auxiliary for, for the simple pass? I didn't put. Put is an irregular verb, so put, 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 right? So I didn't put. Or pass continues. I was, wasn't, because it's negative. Put in double T. Or pass perfect have not here please if you're going to choose has not teacher the option number three don't, don't tell me the answer please don't tell me the answer okay it had this is the contraction right if you are going to choose remember i'm not telling you this is the answer but if you're going to choose this don't use the contraction 
because the platform won't accept the contraction. So you only copy uh, not. It's correct to use contraction, no problem. But I repeat, the platform is not going to accept the contraction. So you put had not put three options. Uh, I didn't. This put, is the answer. No, no, don't say, don't say, please. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the, the the we have three options there no three options yes we have three, three options there option what, one what because it's negative is didn't <laughs> didn't put didn't aha uh -huh. that is option one, number two wasn't no wasn't uh-huh sophia call down wasn't <laughs> don't tell <laughs> don't tell me the answer <laughs> please and option three is have, have not, not have not put put have right. Okay. okay, good. So I don't know the answer, Mauricio. I don't know the answer. <laughs> no, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yolanda, please shh, be quiet, Yolanda. <laughs> but I, uh, uh, Sophia, me no. Ah, Sophia. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> Sophia. Please don't, <laughs> Sophia, don't say the answer. <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, know sorry, why. Yolanda, I, 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 I confuse I, the voices. Ah, Mauricio. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And then let's go to letter E, right? Okay. Now, the teacher, I am tired of speaking. So you're going to help me, please. Mauricio, read the story number one for the class, please. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, please. Story, story number one. Please. One day, a statue, a statue of the gum. Num. Num. Non. And the G is mute. Of, of the G is mute. Anon, oh. Of a non disappeared from the garden of the elderly couple in Florida. In Florida. In Florida. Uh -huh. An elderly. An elderly. Mm. An elderly. An elderly cop couple in Florida. In Florida. A month later, in the mail, in the mail, they receive a photo of the non. Num, num. What what is what what does that mean? Nom. Nom is a, a, a small a troll. Oh, okay. It's a it's a like a, in uh let me see in some yeah, stories so, in, in Walt okay. Disney they uh, no yeah, nom, no no okay. but okay, it's not the fine. troll nom, right? of the government, Mauricio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nom okay. is nom. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> Okay, in front of Buckingham Palace in London. For five years, they received photos of their stat tattoo in many famous places around the world. They finally got the non, the non back, but never found, never found out who took, took it or why. Very good. So I, I like this story, right? Imagine you have this in your in your garden, a gnome, right? Someone took it and 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 take a travel with the gnome around the world, you know, in Washington, in in uh -huh. Russia, in, in El Centro Histórico, <laughs> yes, in Puyo, El Parque Ula Ula, in La Campanera, right? <laughs> in Aguachapán, in Aguachapán. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. And in they, Soya City. In Soya, Soya Harlem. So they put the, the photo of the gnome, right? And they send the photo to you. Say, my gnome is in Europe in this moment. <laughs> well, interesting, right? Now the question is, what is the topic? What is the title for the story? Is what a coincidence? Mm. It's still a mystery <laughs> or a silly, a stupid predicament, right? So what is the correct answer? You're going to take one of the, the options, right? Number two, please. Uh, Sophia, help me, please, Sophia. Read story Joe, number two. Joe, Joe was living the good life in the 1990s. 1990s, 1990s. Oh, oh, you can say the 90s. Huh? <laughs> he was president of the software company, owned a jet. Owned? Was owned? Owned a jet and was making a lot of money in the stock market. Then his look changed with the stock 
market. Uh, sorry, he sorry. Lock, lock everything. Lock, lock right? Ah, yeah. uh, lock, lock changed, changed with yeah. the stuff market he lost everything his business his savings and the jet <laughs> poor <laughs> the jet right uh, you know what is uh, the stock market I, I will explain in it i will explain and maybe you understand what is that right observe the teacher please observe the teacher right okay look It's beautiful. So what is this? Again? Beautiful purse. Uh, you stole uh, the, the back. Stock market is <laughs> corredor de bolsa. Uh. Ah. Okay. Understand? <laughs> okay. Stole the bolsa, right? Stock market. <laughs> you stole the bolsa. <laughs> It's from my wife, but shh, don't say anything, right? Uh, I think stock it is the inventory. It's ah, yes, it's thing. also, yes. But when you say <laughs> stock market is, uh, when, you, when you work in the stock market, it's a corredor de bolsa, right? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, is the, the, the most famous is in New York, right? Okay, now, so what is the correct answer? What a coincidence, emergency, Oh, what a terrible misfortune. These are the three options, right? And number three, Francisco, help me please. Would you like to read number three, Francisco? Hey teacher, one sunny day, many- Money, money, like the, like the elephant in ice age. Money, okay. money, 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 money too, right? <laughs> money and his family decide to go to the beach. I don't know. Started getting it started, it started, it started getting clothing. Mm -hmm. Then it started tolering and raining hard. Money got his family safely back to safely? the car. Safely? Safely back to the car. But the engine engine engine. But the engine wouldn't start okay again sorry francisco wouldn't start wouldn't wouldn't start x they, they, uh -huh, they remember when we use the s we'll say a a a no it's only s, 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 start start right okay when, continue francisco continue. Start, he used his cell phone to call uh 911 but the tow truck couldn't help them because the roads were flooded. Flooded, very good. So remember when we use, when you use of the pronouns, you have to link the sound and you say, help them, help it, help me, help, help her. Uh, you know, it's, 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 you link the sound, right? Okay, good. Thank you, Francisco, thank you. Okay, okay I, I don't know if you have questions about the, the vocabulary. Here in the three stories, any word that is difficult for you? No, okay, good. So we have the selection, right? What a coincident emergency or a silly predicament, right? So you choose the correct option, right? Okay, guys, this is the final test. I hope you complete it. Remember, you have until midnight to complete it, right? I don't know if they have any question or, or you want me to review one of the parts. Rafael, Dago, Fernando, Francisco. I did it, teacher. You did it. Okay, good. Yeah. I, I finished. I finished too. Excellent. Also. Okay. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations, right? Okay. So that's it, right? And Sophia, you, you already finished, Sophia? Yes, yes, but I don't have the 10 for the 10 only 97. Oh, uh, okay. 97, I don't know, I don't know why, but, but 97 is, is good, right? The, the top is 100. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> Someone is asking something, Sofía. Your daughter, right? ¿Cómo se My dice? Ajá, ¿Cómo se dice? My daughter. Ah, she's asking something. Está preguntando algo. Yes, he's ah. talking. What is the question? She's What talking. is the question? ¿Qué le está preguntando she's a la talking. niña? No, she's speaking with the, my dog. Ah, ok, with your dog. With, with her dog, she's okay, speaking. Ok, nice. I have a dog That's too. Playing. His name. I show you my dog last time, right? Polar. Polar is my dog. Yeah. Ah, my dog. And uh -huh. what, He's a Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Oh. <laughs> What's the name of, of Firulais? What is the name? Chiqui. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah, chiqui. because Chiqui. Chiqui. It's a proper name for a Chihuahua, eh? Chiqui. <laughs> chihuahua. Okay. Good. Chiqui. So let me see what time we get. Yeah, we have ten minutes. So. We're going to go to a discussion about the last class, right? And then we finish the class because I want you to speak today. Okay. And I'm gonna show you the, the PowerPoint presentation again. Okay, and I have this discussion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the presentation, right? Okay, now we're going to do something. Dagoberto is make one question to Rafael. Rafael to Sofia, Sofia to Yolanda, etc., etc., right? Okay, let's start with question number one. And here, remember, you have to use this expression, right? Something uh, they worry about is not understanding the custom. Not understanding the custom is something that I would worry about right or maybe one thing that i feel insecure about is speaking a new language so we have to use the, the structure of relative closer remember okay here we go dagoberto you begin with the discussion come on uh, what country would you like to live in only solo la, only the first question yes now oh. rafael answer please I, I would like to live in Mexico. Why? Because the people are nice and the country, it has all that you can to work, to, to, to make a tour. And they, they, they have a, um, fabricas. Uh, factories. factories. Factories, yes. Good, excellent, right? And one uh, possible uh, relative clause we can make about Rafael's answer is uh, one country I like to visit, to live in, sorry, is Mexico, right? One country. I one like, country I like to live in Mexico. I like to live in is. In is. Mexico. Mexico. Good, thank you. Now, okay. Rafael, you made the question to Sofia. Continue with the questions. Okay, Sofia, what country would, wouldn't you like to live in? Uh, I wouldn't like to live in. <laughs> in IT. El Salvador. <laughs> Uh, no, come on, <laughs> it's no, no, Ukraine. In, in, Ukraine. Arabic, in an Arabic country. Why? Why? Because the women have, I don't know, other competencies. <laughs> the men. <laughs> Married with many women. And I don't like to, uh, ¿cómo se dice? to share a man. You are jealous, Sophia. Sharing, uh -huh. I don't like share. <laughs> yeah. You are more possessive. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> possessive. No, that is, that is <laughs> normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sofia, continue with the question, please. 
Okay. You made a question. You're possessive. You're mean, right? Make the question to Fernando. I haven't heard Fernando tonight, so make the question to Fernando. Now, Fernando, who is the person you will most like to go abroad with? Okay, <laughs> one person that I like to hmm, like to go, like to go abroad is my friends because they are very funny and they like to make a joking always <laughs> uh, in this case fernando you have to say r right no no is r sorry sorry oh, sorry r, r. Uh -huh. okay so and then one person is some people right some, some people, people. Uh -huh. okay. okay some people i would like to go abroad are my friends abroad with Remember abroad to with my uh -huh. friends. Yeah, yeah, it's close. Yeah. La cherada, <laughs> Fernando, la cherada. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I have a, a other question. Oh. Why I can't listen a Yolanda in Dagoberto's microphone <laughs> when they oh. when they did a call? <laughs> okay, yes. Someone I can't listen a Yolanda. Yes. We are so close. Microphone. <laughs> We hear all the conversation there. Right? Mm, exactly. <laughs> the list of the supermarket. No, no, I didn't listen very well. Sorry, no, but but yes, I heard someone. Someone was using the cell phone. I don't know who. Right? Sometimes you we can are... hear my dog. You can listen to my dog or my neighbors. Sorry, but you know it's part of the job, right? And and it's part of listening other things. <laughs> no, I, I will tell you this wow. story. Right, the uh, one day I was in a class. And the brother, one of my students say a, a, a bad word, you know, like, and then everybody was laughing because of the word, because I mean, sometimes our accent, right? Okay, good. Thank you, Fernando. Now let's make the next question to, to Mauricio. Teacher, what is, what is a, a abroad with? Ah, abroad, 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 abroad is another country. Ah, okay. uh, Living abroad, uh, uh, in the extranjero. Okay, exactly. abroad is abroad, uh, fuera del okay. país, fuera del país, you know, abroad. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, good. Okay, uh, Fernando to Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, what is something you will never travel without? What is something you will never travel without? Is uh, something. What is something you will never travel without? Uh, One well, thing. I will yeah. never. I will never travel. Okay, uh, Mauricio. Sorry to without my, you, but you can without say my uh, Mauricio mother-in-law. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, it is. Okay. okay, one thing. One thing. It's something. Okay, it's something. <laughs> something is not a person. <laughs> His wife is close to him. Uh, be careful, close Mauricio. to him. For yes. him, one wife thing. Is going to punish you. <laughs> For him is one thing, Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> one thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. I would never travel without. Uh huh, Mauricio. One thing I will, uh, where will I will, I will never travel without is. I will never travel without is. Uh, or is a, a boring person, for example. No, but in this case, an object, my, my wallet, my cell phone, my my man. Ah, without. My, your something, mother uh, something without my uh, yeah without my guys. computer <laughs> without uh, my computer, computer. Good. so again oh, yeah. one thing i would never travel without is uh, repeat mauricio one thing one one things that i will never uh, I, I will never travel without without is uh, is my computer Excellent, excellent. Also, right, Mauricio? That's the idea, right? So you finally understand, Mauricio. This topic is difficult, but yes, you did. Yeah, it. it's a, it's a, I don't know. It's, it's, it's difficult to put in order all the, 
the words. Uh -huh. That's, that's one a, thing, one one person, two things, one animal, one object, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you say, I would, I would travel, I would eat, I would um, answer, I would read. Mm -hmm. And then you say, is my brother, my book, my cell phone, my house, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. You have always, you have to put is at the end. Or are, if it is plural. Is, are, ah, okay, yeah. yeah it's uh -huh. For, for example, you say uh -huh. two friends I yeah. will never travel with are Pedro and Juan, for example, right? Are, mm -hmm. because it's two, right? Two, uh, two friends I would never travel with are Pedro and Juan, for example, right? Or, or singular, one friend I would never travel with, with, is uh, Maria, for example, right? Maria. Hmm? Well, okay. Is Maria. okay. Very good. Now, uh, Mauricio, you make the question to Dago, please. Uh, who is the person you will email first after arrive somewhere new? Um, the, fear, the the person that I will email fear after arriving somewhere new uh, is my mommy. Okay. <laughs> okay. It sounds very, very tender, right? <laughs> very good, Roberto. Okay, well, let's continue. Dalo, you make the other question, please. Um, now, in this case, choose the last person, and then we finish the class because it's time to finish the class, right? So you because choose you travel, be, you travel be, all the time with with your wife. Hey, wait, wait a minute. I didn't include Yolanda. Hey, yes, yeah. sorry, Yolanda. Thank you. You ignore me. Teacher. No, no, sorry. So that will make the question to Yolanda. Sorry. Uh, what will what will you I'm will sorry, say? sorry, excuse me. And Francisco too. We didn't include Francisco. Okay, so we continue with the class. So make the question to Yolanda. What will be your two great uh, concerns about living abroad? Uh, what would you do great? Okay, uh, two, I, I don't know, two great concerns. Uh, I living about, no, living abroad uh, are. Um, my daughter and my husband. No, two things, no? Or what? Two persons. No. So, Yolanda, do you understand what is concerns? Uh, preocupada, no? Uh -huh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, when I live in abroad, no? Oh, yes. Yes, okay. uh, about uh, what, but it's, uh, I think it's my two greatest concern is my husband and, well, my daughter and my husband. Okay. Good. Because Good. always I, 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 Thing about that, uh, what happened with them? With I am out. <laughs> Excellent, right? But you, uh, but you're not jealous, right? <laughs> okay. I think the same. <laughs> okay, the daughter and the husband, right? Yes. Or in this case, the and wife my or... pets, my ah. my nine pets. <laughs> what nine pets? Rescue pets. Oh my lord! Really? Seriously, nine, nine pets. Wow. wow. What, their, what, what are their names? Do you know? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I have the nine, uh, uh, nine name in my mind. <laughs> tell us. You have tell to tell us. us. No, come on. <laughs> Don't hit that. Yes, yes <laughs> teacher. It's a test. Odi, Odi, Lobo, Aldo, Stefan, uh, 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 Maul, and uh, Conchi. Capi and I don't know what is the, the other. <laughs> I don't remember. Seven names. No, eight. Oh. I I I forget one. I don't know one, who I. One. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Don't start. <laughs> a los a los son a los son el hijo perdido. Right? <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, Yolanda, make the last question to Francisco, right? And then we we'll finish. Okay, dear Francisco, what is the thing <laughs> you would enjoy the most about living abroad? The, the thing I would enjoy 
the most is uh, to visit many places. For example, for example, uh, museums, museums, and uh, 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 the the park, parks, the parks, yes, parks, for example. Good answer, Francisco. Excellent, right? Okay. Visiting some places, right? Visiting okay. some places. Good. And uh, sorry, I don't remember who said this, but uh, some of you say one advice. Uh, remember, advice is no countable. So you, when, when you say, for example, alguien me dio consejo. So you say, someone gave me advice. And you can say suggestion, for example, uh, someone gave me two suggestions, for example, three suggestions. But with advice, you don't, you don't um, say one, two, three advice. No, no, no. Someone gave me advice. Simple, right? And uh, advice with C is the noun. And advice with S is the verb, the action. When I say, I, I advise you, right? I advise you. So it's with S. Yo te doy un consejo. Yo te consejo. I advise you, right? With S. Pronunciation z, 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 advise you. Advice. Okay? And when you say, uh, I need advice, it's with letter C. And the pronunciation is S. S, advice. Advice, right? I need advice. Necesito que me des consejo, right? Okay, but I repeat, it's uncountable. Uncountable, right? Good class. With S is verb. With S is a verb. And with okay. C is, is noun. Okay. Uncountable. Uncountable noun, right? Okay. Good. So class, it was a pleasure for me to stay with you tonight. Uh, yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> Tomorrow, sorry. We're going to have the last class together. They're going to close the platform. But remember, uh, how, how can I say this? Uh, el teacher Caleo le debía una clase, right? He was on you. So I will make the class for tomorrow. Understand? Uh, yes. That's why we are having classes tomorrow. Yes. Okay. The official date closing is today. But okay. we owe you a class. Le debemos una clase, right? So tomorrow we're going to give you, give you the class. Good. Okay. So tomorrow we have a free topic or we have no, a... No, no, no. No, no. We have the... the uh, what is the name? My class. It's in the in the, the part number five. Okay. Okay. Let, mm -hmm. let me let me show you. Let me show you. I will show you. Sorry. I will show you what, what are we going to see tomorrow. We are going to see this part. Let me see. Um read the story. Oh, here, here, right? Section five. Uh -huh. Crossing cultures. Crossing cultures is right, and is the topic number five point seven expectations. Expectations. Like, like I will say in Spanish, right? Es la parte que le debo. Uh -huh. Expectations. Not supposed to arrive. Five point seven. Then that's it, right? For tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for to be in my class. Wow. Right. Thank you. Hey, Thank tomorrow. you. Good Dino night. To say, he wants to say goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, bye, Dino. <laughs> say goodbye to your bye. nine dogs, Yolanda. Okay, thank Perfect. you, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. God bless you. See ya. Okay. Bye. Bye.